Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Aquarius for the first half of your October from the 1st to 15th. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we're going to take a look at your over energies regarding love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the uh, possible outcome and advice. And what else do you guys need to know? What to look out for? Um, so... Apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aquarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius and love. Over energies for Aquarius regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for um, the first half of their October from the 1st to the 15th. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Aquarius. Three of swords and a king of cups. Wow. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel like someone here is really broken hearted over somebody here. I just feel like there's just disappointment and despair here. I just feel like someone here is really upset also. Aquarius. With the Nine of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, so what I'm getting here is that, Aquarius, I feel like you're really tired of someone here, someone here who's not committing to you. This person comes in and out. This person could be putting you in third party situations. Um, Aquarius, I feel like you feel like you're being used by this individual, okay? It might be a tough thing that you are starting to realize or that you're starting to accept, but I feel like you're starting to accept that this person's not gonna change, okay? Um, it's just that this person's not ready to. And you can't force someone when they're not ready to because you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's not fair to them because, you know, they're just not ready. Yeah. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. We have the Seven of Wands here and the Queen of Wands. Okay. Whoever this is, this is an individual here that has consistently has their guard up around you. So I feel like, I mean, this person has like a 50 foot wall and I feel like this person is trying to make you climb this wall. Well, they're not trying to make you climb it, but it could be that you're trying to climb it, but you're just not really getting through or that you're getting in. You know, with this Knight of Wands and this Queen of Wands energy, this is an energy of someone here that just wants just wants their freedom. You know, this person could be in it for the passion here too, because we have all these wands. And with that King of Cups, you, you know, you're more so looking for like a deep emotional connection, uh, Aquarius, okay? Um, tell me about this Three of Swords. Three of Swords, Death, Scorpio Energy, King of Cups, and a Tower. I feel like you're co finally coming to a realization that this possibly won't come together that you uh, the way that you envisioned it, okay? So I feel like you're just really brokenhearted over this, okay? Because I do feel like you walked into this situation with this individual with some expectations, okay? Um, so death, Scorpio energy, tower, Aries, Scorpio energy could be dealing with a strong fire sign here. Perhaps Sagittarius or Aries here, maybe even Leo. You might have those energies in your chart. Nine of Wands, we got the world. Knight of Wands and then Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Like I said, I feel like this person comes in and out, okay? I also feel like another thing is that you know, this person goes and travels a lot, okay? Either by themselves or with their friends and this person never invites you. Yeah, so that's another huge kind of like a red flag here too. Especially if you've known this person for a little bit for, for you know, a long time, okay? Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Seven of Wands here, the Strength card, Leo energy, and the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Swords. 
what I'm feeling here is that this person's scared to lose their freedom and their independence. I feel like also this person is a very highly sexual person, okay? And Aquarius, you might not be like that. And since this person can't get, you know, five times a day sex with you, this person's gonna go somewhere else. And I feel like that's what this person does. That's why this person goes in and out, okay? Um, let's see what else we have. Tell me about Aquarius here, the person that Aquarius is dealing with. Ooh. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Aquarius for um, the first half of their October? Oh, from the 1st to 15th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. I don't know, this person could be, could be with you for the money here too. But I do feel like there's an energy that someone here is spying on someone. So either you're spying on this queen or this feminine energy or this feminine energy is spying on you or both of you guys could be spying on each other. But I'm feeling more so like one person's doing it, okay? Just very curious about what the other person's doing here. Eight of Cups and the Ace of Wands. We got the star here and the devil. This is an individual that likes to pursue their passions. This is an individual that likes to pursue their lust. I feel like this is an individual that likes to pursue their sexual fantasies too. Like I said, I feel like regarding maybe the sex department, you guys are on completely two different wavelengths here. Because this person connects only on a physical level and on appearance, but you connect on a deeper soul emotional level. So, like I said, I feel like this person's unable to give you what you want. We have the star card here and the devil. So, Aquarius energy, there you are right here. Could be dealing with another Aquarius Capricorn energy with that devil here. Um, I just feel like, I feel like this person has an addiction to sex. I feel like you're a hopeless romantic and this person's a hopeless, I don't know, sex addict. Yeah, just complete polar opposites here, okay? Um, tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. You have the Seven of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. What's happening here is I, I feel like Aquarius, I mean, this could be you daydreaming, fantasizing about a lot, or that this person who's like really sexually charged is like fantasizing you, is fantasizing you about, fantasizing you sexually, okay? We had a ton of wands here. You know, I feel like this is more so I've, I'm, I feel like this is coming from you. Uh, just fantasizing about your person, thinking about your person. I feel like it's starting to become a burden to you. Yeah. It's like, you know, why is it that I keep doing that? You know, what's, what's in it for me just by fantasizing about this person? You know, Eight of Cups here and the Ace of Swords. Ace of Wands and the Two of Cups. There's definitely a soulmate connection here. The thing is, I feel like this is an individual that might be someone who avoids their feelings. Like I said, this person connects more on the physical level and appearance, okay? Uh, but you connect on a deeper soul level, oh, uh, yeah? Uh, the the uh, Star, Two of Pentacles, the Devil, and Ace of Cups. I do feel like this person's in love with you, but one of the things is that this person has to get a control, get, this person has to get their behavior under control here in order for this to work. So, you know, this person does need to seek some sort of outside help. Yeah. This person needs to seek some sort of outside help here. Um, outcome and advice here for Aquarius regarding their love situation. What else does Aquarius need to know? What do they need to look out for for the first half of their October from the 1st to 15th? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aquarius. Five of Swords and the Moon. Two of Wands and the King of Wands. We have the Five of Wands and the Hermit. Um, we have another true pair here. This is definitely a soulmate connection. No, this is one true pair, sorry. Yeah, king to queen of wands. Okay, five of swords and the moon. This is interesting. 
whoever you're dealing with here, I feel like this person like messes or feel or that you feel like this person messes with you or plays with your emotions here. The King of Wands and the Two of Wands. So you now moving forward, even though this is a tough situation that you're in, I feel like you have to make a decision here because I feel like you're 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 wondering if you made the right decision. Okay, we have the Five of Wands here and the Hermit. You know, I do feel like eventually, Aquarius, you are going to dis like distance yourself from this person because I feel like there's just too much conflict here. Yeah, and I feel like you're going to do some soul searching, do some even shadow work here too, and, you know, kind of fix why you attracted this individual here. We have the full Aries energy. The moon, eight of wands. Seems like you're getting a lot of messages here from... Hold on. <laughs> um, seems like you're getting a lot of intuitive hits here too, okay? So I feel like your third eye, your intuition is really activated at the moment. And I feel like you're in this energy of really trusting your intuition, trying to put yourself first and really trying to move on from this. Two of Wands, Six of Swords, King of Wands, and the King of Swords. Yeah, I see you moving on from this, Aquarius. Like I said, even though this is tough, I, I see you moving on from this. The Five of Wands, Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, and the Hermit, and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, so I feel like, you know, moving forward, you know, the healing work that you're going to do, I feel like things will turn in your favor where, you know, eventually um, the universe is going to give you your, your wish fulfillment, give you the love that you're looking for here, okay? <clears throat> Uh, it, it just seems like this person can't provide that for you, okay? So uh, Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.